Warning, this video contains strong language and scenes of a sexual nature from the outset and throughout. I've been sitting back for far too long. Megan McKenna is starting to piss me off. Megan's behaviour bothered me just for the fact that it was all about the Megan show. Yeah. Fuck off, mate! Oh. Fuck off, Jason! Fucking fuck her! Yeah. Fuck off! Tell him to fuck off! Everyone was rising to it instead of rising above it. And I thought everyone should have just played their own game instead of worrying about what Megan's going to be thinking. I had a conversation with Megan last night and I said, listen, once more, I'm not backing down. So Megan basically said, basically said that I better calm down or she'll start on me. No, just basically that she don't want you kicking off. So when I found out all the girls were slagging me off, it did really get to me because I am quite guarded, only because I've been hurt in the past. Um, a lot of friends have fucked me over, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, like, why should I trust any of the girls? Go on, Anne, let's go for a track. You have enough to say when everyone else has something to say. I said no, no. So fuck off, everyone fucking no. I said no, I don't want to talk right now. Drum <laughs> Me and Megan didn't really see eye to eye. I thought mainly because of that. She's used to being Queen Bee, and I'm always Queen Bee. And she didn't like the fact that she had to step off the throne and be princess and let Queen take over. Ali. Except Megan's lips. <laughs> it come down to ham and cheese. So <laughs> Laura decided to just shove all my ham and cheese in her mouth and mimic me. And I think that's really out of all done. Listen, no one eat my ham and cheese. Can't eat anything else because I've got allergies. What's your problem, Laura? I think that's really nasty. Like, she wants to eat healthy and eat her chicken and salads every morning when I've got shitty egg. I'm hungry and it's not fair because I've got allergies. Someone get the bird some fucking dairy leaves. Do you see me going over and scoffing her chicken? No. I didn't really expect Megan to go as cray cray as she did, but I was kind of laughing when she did because I was like, woo, true colours are coming out, baby. Fuck yourself, I'll fuck you up. I stood up to Megan and I don't think anyone else did. I stood up to Megan and she just didn't fight back because she knew that she'd met her match. I will fuck you up, babe. Stop, I swear to you. Fuck me up, babe. I've got nothing to do to you. See how that fucking works for you. I think I was treating the girls fairly. I was really nice. I helped them out, let them borrow clothes. I was doing everything that a friend would want to do. So it's not really nice for them to be slagging me off when they haven't really asked me why I am so angry and aggy. It's fine. Me and Jordan will just do shit in front of you. When you like someone, you can't help it if, you know, things annoy you. And being in that experience when you're trapped in a villa for so long, like arguments are going to happen when obviously you're not eating properly, you're drinking every single night. In there, it's just blown out of proportion ten times more. It was a nightmare. I'm sick of this place. Fucking sick of it. I was really happy to walk out the scene, say Kirk. Do you know what I mean? Like I've always sort of associated him with like re a really nice time in my life. I've got loads of fun memories with him. Oh my god, why is he so upset? I kicked off proper. Punched the walls, broke both of my hands. 